Hi, I'm a gentleman Hulk, getting my hair cut by Dave. <laughs> this hair is quite coarse and it's going to react well to a brush rather than a comb. So I'm just going to comb it through, I'm just going to brush it through first so I can see if there's any contraindications in the hair. Okay, so number two. You can take number two up to around this level and then the top's going to be put into almost like a, a mohawk. Not a harsh mohawk, but just a kind of natural looking mohawk. So we're going to take out the weight up to the recession area, all the way around the head. This is quite a nice hair to cut because it's very thick. So it's kind of easy to, to have nice lines in it and, and, it's, and it fades really well as well. So this is your first time in the shop, yeah. and your last. Yeah. <laughs> you never, you'd never be back. It depends on you. <laughs> it's all on me. So we're gonna have a lot of weight here now. We're not gonna worry about that quite, quite this second. We're gonna go a little bit lower and start working around the ear and the hook and the temple area. So one and a half. The lever is open. Taking that around the temple area here. So I'm going about an inch below where I took the two. And then from the one and a half, I'll blend up to the two with a 1.75. I can't, it's not massively cutting a lot off, but you can see where where the one and a half's been. You can feel where that bone is in the head as well. So it's just there. I'm going to take this fade just a little bit higher. <laughs> this isn't actually called a fade, it's called a blend because it's not down to skin. It's not classed as a fade because you're not fading out the hair. The hair's still there at the bottom and it's still there at the top. So it's just a blend. So now at the very bottom of the head, I'm just going to taper these edges with uh, a one. You don't need to do anything on the length. It's all about So that we just shooting. close that lever. Yeah. I used lots of garlic when I was cooking in garlic fucking and really mixed me down. Yeah, so I moved that lever there just to the position in between a one and a one and a half. So like quarter closed. Or well, would that be half closed? It's half closed. So it's fully open and I half close it. To around there. And that helps blend the one at the very bottom to the one and a half. So what we're doing here now is we're blending the one and a half to the two with a 1.5 guard. And we've got the 1.5 guard half closed. To make the 1.5 guards half closed to make it a 1.75. And that just blends the one and a half into the two. Smoothly. Okay, again, we're just looking at that mirror to check everything's nice and even. Right, I do have an issue with lighting in this particular spot as it's been highlighted on some of the other videos. So, what we're going to do now is pull him around to this side so that my light's consistent. And now I've got strong lighting from this way. That helps me to limit any blemishes on the fade.
Right, the 1.5 guard is bigger than the number one guard where the one guard's fully open. So when we close this one, close the lever, this is bigger than this when it's fully open. And this will just take out any last bits on the blend that are sticking out. So we're just going to line it up now. So starting with a hook. There's lots of ways to do this. You can like put a finger down and use the finger as like uh, a guide to make a half moon shape. Well, I think somebody, somebody will use that finger maybe and come up with a corner like that. But I like to just do it with that one finger there like that. So that particular bit there, if this is too sharp, you can you can end up cutting the ear. So it's you kind of have to have a utility, either a utility trimmer or a trimmer for specific jobs. Again, we're coming over there. And we're keeping that angle nice, <laughs> nice and slopey like a hill. And then we'll clear all that up with the blade in a sec as well. Okay, that's starting to look real nice now. So we're just looking from the back, check everything's level when it comes down to these, the taper on the sides. I'm going to clean the neck up at the end as well. So now we're going to work on the top bit and then blend the sides to the top. Okay, so we're going to work from the crown forward. As it's a forward hairstyle, we're going to go with the, with the direction of the hair. So we're just going to pull a small section back from there. I'm going to take it down to about a finger's length. So we're going to go straight across. Hmm. Okay, so we've cut through the middle there. We're going to start working these side bits now. So again, you can pull around like that. And you can see what's got to come off on that angle. Because we're going into that kind of shape there, I'm, I'm angling my hands and I'm working from the base of my fingers upwards. You want the front to be longer than the back, obviously, as well. So here we're just going to point cut the top. Again, just moving one blade. And that means that I'm not going to cut my finger. We're looking to see any bits that are left a little bit too long. So I can see something there. There's a little bit of a shape on the top there. And then the crown area, you can see that I haven't really worked the crown area, if you come from that side there. So we've cut from there, forward, on both sides. So left is all this weight around here. So now it's time to trim that down. So we're going to come across the crown. The crown starts here on this hair and it curls that way. So I'm going to work kind of with the direction of the crown as I cut. <laughs> you kind of just work it down to a finger's length here, all the way around the head. So as soon as you find something above your fingers, you know it's got to come off. 
Both will be Both will be massive brawl that that one. Because it's all like Pacino as well. And they went to film that off the back of official One guy written in. Yeah. Three take four. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to work from the fade up to the hair with a seven inch scissor. Seven inch scissors, nice wide comb. Careful not to take too much from there. Oh, what about that bit? And we're working around that crown yeah, again, so anywhere it sticks out, we're just trimming it. We're going to leave it long through the crown here. So we're not going to take that. We haven't took the fade all up to the crown. But we're still going to round the crown with the scissors. <laughs> Okay, so we're getting some shape here now. And the last thing I like to do is, because I know I've got it with a two and a half to there, I can see there's a little bit of weight still. So I'm going to go number three. <laughs> I'm just taking out that top bit. No. Okay, we've used water as the uh, lubricant and we're just going to edge up with the blade. Okay, that's a real clean line anyway, so I'm just going to tidy up just outside the line. This is just going to take out any hairs at the bottom of the, of the blend. And we're going to clean up the neckline now. Drop it down to 0 0.25. And that is a one and a half blend. Do you have product in that? You leave it natural, yeah? Yeah, I'm always riding modified. Beardbrain is a premium men's grooming company with products not only for your beard, but also your hair and body. Do yourself a favor and head over to beardbrand.com and take care of yourself. Or you can stick around and watch a few more of our awesome videos.